Hey guys, what's up? So this is a guide for preparation of UPSC CSC being a working professional and I'll be talking about approach of an aspirant here who has four or six, four to six hours in a day or is a working professional or is a housewife or is a specially abled individual or is doing internship or is in final year of college. There can be infinite variables but because one or the other reason you have just four to six hours or you have to take care of your sick parents or sick siblings. So if you feel like these courses are helping in any way do give five stars on the course page and write the review of what do you like about this course if you want me to make more courses write in the reviews which next course you want me to make and in feedbacks doubts and queries uh, and ask in the comment section and do share it as much as you can and you can follow me on an academy on this link see the first thing first is keep yourself informed before taking the plunge uh, you, I'll make a course on notification right now after this so you can watch that course so you'll know exactly what is the admit card what is the qualification what is uh, cut off what is category wise cut off what are category wise posts everything what are the odds of success because UPSC CSC is non exhaustive no matter what you do it will never be exhausted in your entire life and the more you know the better you are equipped and the exam pattern and trends should be well researched properly and solving past papers will obviously come in handy because that is the only way you can realize that the importance of previous year question papers especially for those who are working professionals you should read last year question papers as much as you can research about exam pattern as much as you can because you will never be able to you do not have luxury to study random stuff then resources obviously goes with NCRT class 6 to 12 you can watch my foundation course it will help you as well especially the 10 must read books 10 books to avoid 10 life hacks then there are like lots of lessons how to read the Hindu is a separate course I will strongly suggest that you watch that course on an academy then basic foundation books like Lakshmi Kant, GC Leong, Rajiv Ahir are a must see nobody can su succeed without them but then there is a special way you have to read Lakshmi Kant there is a special way you have to read GC Leong there is a special way you have to read Rajiv Ahir Lakshmi Kant already I have covered in polity course GC Leong I already have covered in geography course Rajiv Ahir already I have covered in modern Indian course so please watch them web portals and other government websites should be best used for example an academy.in can literally replace anything you want to prepare if you just have internet and a laptop and an office you can read a lot in that time and you can watch my courses on how to utilize technology uh, which is present in the foundation course of Roman Seni just write technology you'll get the lesson and do watch it magazines like Yojana which covers government schemes uh, and policies will be important obviously it is reflected in UPSC prelims 2016 goes without saying it was one of the most important magazine from which questions were asked now time management to your aid every minute matters not even a single minute should be wasted you have to make sure that you are not wasting any time, any time, any time. You have to make a to-do list, priority list. If you are weak in history, the first priority is to read Rajiv Ahir. If you are weak in geography, the first priority is to go through Roman's geography strategy course. Now you have to dedicate a particular slot every day. No matter how tired you are after office, I don't care. UPSC don't give a crap about how tired you are. You have to make sure that you give a particular slot every day and effectively use the available time as much as possible for example if you have to travel to work then use your travel time most optimally if you are taking an uber or a ola or a metro or a bus always make sure that uh, see reading books will be very difficult while traveling i give you that but you can just watch an academy videos where i am teaching 10 mcqs every day or uh, the hindu in less than 10 minutes or pib in less than 10 minutes or 10 mcqs on pib and stuff like that take public transport if it is feasible for you and even shift your residence near office if you can now transport and traffic can be a menace so I strongly suggest that if you can shift your residence let's say uh, let's say that you are working somewhere close to uh, Karol Bagh and your office is in let's say Noida so if you live in Karol Bagh and your office is in Noida I'll strongly suggest move to Noida if it's possible because transport traffic will take two hours every day especially in big metros like Delhi, Bangalore etc now use technology to your advantage again and again I'm saying a smartphone can buy you a lot of time you can watch all these lessons for free anytime you want apps and other online sources are many which are both educative as well as motivating whenever you are feel down you can watch them do watch the entire course on an academy okay so that will help you a lot uh, about technology usage filter what is available obviously you cannot read everything because you have very very limited time you have to prioritize properly you can either watch educational videos or browse the movie trailers on YouTube. It's up to you. But those who will watch this have a higher chance of clearing the examination. Take up an online quiz which we have in the form of 10 MCQs either daily or weekly. 
you can do it whenever you feel like now you again ample chances of being carried away focus on what is essential always stay focused now again i am saying how to watch how to use technology for upsc preparation and other academy lessons for an informed preparation please watch this course now there are a lot of relevant apps google chrome extensions other technological hacks will make your preparation really really smart please use them for instance all the unacademy videos you can watch in 2x speed so if i am speaking this video let's say in 10 minutes you can watch the entire video in 5 minutes and you will understand most of the things equally good and youtube also you can use the extension called youtube playback speed control it will save half of your time now smart work over hard work obviously you cannot work more hard than let's say a guy who has nothing to do and he can work for 16 hours a day you cannot compete with him so always go for smart work finish your newspaper reading as soon as possible watch the hindu in less than 10 minutes as much as possible once you get a hang of it you could probably finish even sooner now make e notes if you don't have time to make handwritten notes revise the same resources rather than buying vast range of resources from the market because koi point hi nahi hai you'll never never be able to read it never ever enhance your concentration and grasping power this will reduce the time consumed geometrically okay exponential reduce hoga now holidays could be best exploited like weekends are a boon in disguise as like you have lot of free saturdays and sundays so compensate to karna padega now here you have to put in like 10 12 even 16 hours at a stretch over the weekend ye wo nahi hoga ki khandala lonavla ja ke wahan pe time pass kar rahe ho no that will not be allowed extended slot of hours can help you complete backlogs of the week for example an academy has 10 minute daily mcq video if you're not able to see it you are losing out on your prelims preparation because i personally make sure that the best of the best questions are included in that and it has a very high chance of appearing in upsc now devote time sincerely to prepare especially your optional answer writing practice should be done as soon as possible and convert national holidays to study days okay just remember that one line national holidays should be study days now test series obviously will help you complete a stipulated amount of syllabus you can either join a online or a weekend test series or you can just watch these 10 mcqs will have 5000 mcqs 10000 mcqs uh, 5000 on uh, current affairs 5000 on pib so 10000 mcqs i don't think anything else will be out, asked out of that practice as much as you can assume that each test is the actual exam it will help you push yourself to perform better now routine will ensure judicious use of time always make a to do list keep short term goals ek ghante ke goals banao ek saal ke mat banao that you have to do it in next 1 hour 2 hour 3 hour track your targets periodically raise your bars up every time you are closing to achieve it and finally a uh, definite amount of time to read the newspaper will make sure you actually do it for example give that 9 to 9:30 pm i will always read newspaper now revision and follow up there are so many sources that it is easy to get carried away so rather than doing 20 books for one topic complete two books for one topic and then revise them again and again for example in history you can read rajiv ahir as well as the class 12th ncert by bipin chandra now you have to know something about everything not everything about everything always remember this you have to know something about everything that means range is more important than depth and you have to ensure you have to revise again and again and again as much as possible and ideally use weekends to follow up on current affairs now self motivation is important write in a piece of paper why you want to do what you are doing go back to it whenever you feel demotivated or tired or lethargic work life is accompanied by equal stress and pressure obviously both of them you have to manage properly you have to resolve it properly keep moving towards your goal because bottom line is you should achieve what you have set out to do don't compare yourself to your colleagues it is your decision to do upsc they might ridicule you instead of brooding over not having time to study and feeling guilty utilize your time more prudently don't waste it persistency and consistency will matter in the long run just remember self motivation is the key you don't have to leave your job because work will reassure you insecurities dilemmas will ease you are working for a reason but your work is not the reason so don't put yourself in a fix that you can get past this and you will get past this as well your financial independence will empower you just spend 5000 some day on a weekend you will feel good right from coaching activities to taking test series you can fund for yourself and there are many who clear the exam while in service as well so if they don't get a desired service of their choice like irs iits officer they give their attempt while working in that particular service and they still do well so always remember that the journey will be tough but the results will be worth it agar ek ips officer who is getting trained for 10 12 hours if he can crack the exam so can you so i'll continue this series thank you for watching this lesson have an awesome day